Hans agreed. I tied up his wound, a great cut in his leg, and in a few minutes I had the Hispanola sailing easily before the wind. Hans, who now looked a lot better, watched me with a strange smile on his face. I sailed on until we came to a little bay at the north of the island. We had to lie off the entrance till the tide rose higher. While we waited, we talked. Presently Hans asked me to go below and get him a bottle of wine. He has brandy already, I thought. He wants me off the deck for some reason of his own. I agreed to go. As soon as I was out of his sight, I took off my shoes and returned without a sound to a place just behind him where I could watch him without being seen. I understood then. I saw him crawl towards a coil of rope and pick up a blood-stained knife that was lying inside it. He put it under his coat, and then crawled back to his first position.